right, today we're gonna make dolma. We're gonna make both cooked and raw dolmas. This is all the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need approximately 11 green onions, 16 parsley stems, two packs of dill, however you can get them at the grocery store, that's fine. You're gonna need grape leaves. I normally get set up, but any other brand will do. One cup of white rice. If you can get basmati rice, that's the best, but if not, white sticky rice would do as well, that's fine. One and a half cups of yellow split pea. Slow cooked is better than fast cooked if you can find them that way. But if not, fast cook is fine. Fast cook is just gets mushy faster, but slow cook is the best if you can get your hands on those. One third of a cup of sumak or sumach. You can get those in any Middle Eastern or Mediterranean grocery stores. They have it in the um, herb and spice sections. And then um, butter. I use vegan butter, Earth Balance. This is my favorite. A couple of slices for the ones that we're gonna cook. Six slices of lemon for also the ones that we're gonna cook. And the avocado, just to keep all of these sweet ingredients together. Two teaspoons of Himalayan salt as well. Now we're gonna take the grape leaves. Like this, you have to be careful not to rip them apart. They're kind of in there tight. There is one. There is two. And then there's three. Actually, three and four. This is very salty. This is how they keep it marinated. So if you can, try to open them and then rinse them. And again, just be very delicate with that. Normally, they're folded pipe per pack. So when you unfold them, unfold them per pack. Once everything is chopped, this is what it's going to look like. So you have your avocado puree, you have your green onions, chopped parsley, chopped dill, and we cleaned every single leaf and rinsed it off. This is what you're going to need once the rice and the yellow peas are ready for our production. You're going to need three cups of water for the yellow peas once you've rinsed them and cleaned them. One. Two and three cups. Now for the yellow pea. Once you've added your three cups of water, place your heat to medium, and then once it boils, bring it down to low for approximately 15 minutes. Do not boil more than 15 minutes. Add your salt. two teaspoon and two slices of butter. Once there's no more water or almost no more water, just add the one cup of rice and add one cup of water as well. Let it boil for another 15 minutes. So we have the yellow peas and the rice cooked for no longer than 15 minutes. For my raw peeps, you can just soak it in water for a day or for as long as you possibly can to make it as soft as possible without cooking it. But if not, if you just cook it slightly for 15 minutes, this is what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna add your sumach. We're gonna add the green onions. We're 
We're going to add the parsley. We're going to add the dill. And we're going to finish the sumach. Now we're going to mix everything together. Okay. Once everything is mixed, that's where the avocado is going to come in. And this is what's going to make everything stick together. I had to add another half of smashed avocado because a first half was not enough for the quantity that we have here. So I added another half of avocado. You can also add one or two tablespoons of cashew yogurt to help it stick instead of the avocado if you prefer. And you can also add at this point a little bit of garlic. I'm not because I got a date tonight so I just don't want to smell like a garlic but you sure can make it part of the recipe so now we're going to roll we're going to take one leaf make sure you remove the stem and of course if you can get real ones if you have grape leaves growing in your backyard well hey use those i had i would have so, one spoon, you don't want to go too big, if you go too big it's going to pop out of the slides, the sections that open up. So, this is the first part, and then you fold the sides, and then you keep folding. Ta-da! I'm just going to put it here. And then later, this one, I'm going to put it in there for later. All right, so this is a nice big leaf. I'm going to be able to stuff this a lot. Nice little chunk. Oop, the stem. Let's not forget that. So in the beginning, this is going to be tricky. You're probably going to mess up a couple of them. And if you do, it's all right. Just eat it right in the mouth. That's the case. So again, you fold the middle first, then the sides, and then you keep folding. Perfect. Oh, this is a mini one. Isn't this cute? Look at that. Little mini. And this is how you basically put them, one next to each other. This is how we prepare by just putting a couple of leaves on the bottom so it doesn't burn. This is the ones that are going to be for cooked. And then we're going to set aside the ones that are going to be eaten raw. First you start with the circle. And then you fill in the circle. And the reason why you do that is because for the ones that are going to cook it, once you cook it, this is going to boil and it's going to shake it. And you don't want it to get open. So you just squeeze them first around and then you do the inside.
It's funny, it looks like a Canadian leaf. Look at that. Too much. If you see it, but too much, don't be shy. There's no ego here. We're all winners. I'm not trying to prove anything. Because if you stuff them too much, it's going to open in there, and that's not going to look nice. It's going to look like a dolma bursted in your packs of dolmas. There's a lot of dogs outside. So I apologize for all the barking. Don't have any control over that. Okay, so if you're gonna eat it raw, this is how you're gonna just place it. Just put the lemons as decoration. This is what it looks like once you're done. Everything is nice and stuffed. We added lemons on top and vegan butter. You add one cup of water, you let it boil and then simmer on low for a good 25 minutes or until the water dissipates completely. Plate upside down on everything, the dolmas and the butter and the lemons. That's gonna keep everything from moving while it's boiling. So just simply put it one of your plates in there. Make sure it's not plastic. Make sure it's made out of glass, like what actual plates are made out of. And then you're good to go for a good 25 minute boiling session. And the final product, this is what it looks like. Ready to eat.